Hi everybody. Next one up is a GEC Mura phone. Mura, M-U-R-A, simply means wall. A mural is something you would stick on the wall. So anything with that name appertains to a wall. So this is GEC's effort into a wall phone. As far as I know, these were never used by the uh, uh, the British GPO. They went in on private installations. These are quite rare. Um, I was lucky enough to, uh, to pick this one up. It's in excellent condition. All right, it could do with a buff up to give it a shine, but I've left it as it was. These things are old and I use the excuse that it's gained a bit of patina. He obviously has. And probably a bit of dirt. But not to worry, it's all there, it's not cracked, it's not broken, and it works. It's got a normal bell inside. Um, it's got the good old handset. Now, I will be changing this handset because this is what the handset would have looked like but the one that came with this phone would have had the name GEC on that little uh, little motif thing there. It would have said GEC. I have got one. It's just a case of me removing this one and putting the other one on so it's sort of authentic to the phone. Standard dial. As far as I know, it's a normal trigger type dial. The ten to the side. What we've got written on the back. When reordering, quote, blah, blah, blah. So that's obviously the, the little rubber things are no longer there probably through age they've, they've become rotten but that's not a problem it can be replaced by some nice new feet and anyway, that would be up against the wall because this is solely a wall phone it would never have been used as a desk model so it would have been mounted on the wall as I said before, it's all there. You've got little holes at the side or slots. That was there to let the ringing out. Uh, got your switch hooks there. The dial, as you can see, is just a number dial. This was quite common with private uh, phone installations. It was mainly the stuff on GPO or the post office or BT, call it what you will, where there, w there was letters. But on private installations they were invariably just numbers. To the Owen C. It's a Bakelite case. Now Bakelite is very brittle so handle with great care if you're lucky enough to pick up an old phone that is made of Bakelite or a nice old Bakelite radio you never know please treat with care and if you have one sent to you from eBay make sure the idiots don't just put it in a jiffy bag I had a little I think it was a Murphy set no, not Murphy, Ultra, a little Ultra radio, we're all working, and the idiot put it in a jiffy envelope. Well, needless to say, when it arrived, it arrived in many pieces. Very disappointed. Why the fool couldn't have used a good strong box, I don't know. But anyhow, I'll just add that as a little anecdote. I managed to save the bits out, out of it. I got my money back. And hopefully, 
the sender learnt a lesson. Anyhow, I'm going to gently place this down. I haven't been invaded by any pussy cats as yet. I think we're okay. The handset would rest. Yep, it would rest that way around with the receiver part to the top and the transmitter. It is the the normal uh, uh, a normal GPO uh, receiver or combine as the uh, the French say. It's got the old spit thing on it. Also made of Bakelite. So once again, don't go and drop it. If you drop it, it'll end up with more than just the handset. Anyhow, that's all for this one. Any questions, please ask. Please subscribe. And I will get back to you. Needless to say, the cord would not have been the original. It would have probably have been a pleated cord. You can get these. There are sellers on eBay and there's exhibitions where these are sold. So if you want to bring something really up to date, you can give it a, a bit of spit and polish. Hard work, but it could be done. I've got too many phones to, <laughs> to do this with. So anyhow, here we go. Hopefully you enjoyed. Let's get more people to subscribe. There's a lot of telephone collectors out there from this country, from the continent and particularly America. And anyone interested, let's give them a plug. The Rotary Phone Forums, they're based in America, they're international and they are very very good. Anyone can join. You just need an interest in old phones, preferably rotary or dial phones. We tend to say dial phones in England, whereas the Americans say rotary. It simply refers to the dial, which is a means of producing 10 pulses per second. There are several types of dial. One of these days I will collect the, bit, the ones I've got and put one up on YouTube. Anyhow, you heard my voice long enough, so I'm going to clear down. And thanks again for looking. Please subscribe. Thank you.